Hey guys, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to be replacing a Honeywell, just a standard uh, heating unit, with a wireless one. First thing you want to make sure to do is turn your everything off. So go down in the basement, turn um, the actual unit off, turn the fuse off, so you don't burn anything out. Um, and you can test to make sure it's off by putting the heat on, setting it high, and if nothing turns on, the fans don't turn on, you're good. So I want to turn this back to off. So once you take this piece off here, you can have a couple wires. So you're going to make sure you mark what they are. So here it tells say W, make sure it's marked W, Y to Y, and R to R. In this case, it's kind of the first letter of each color, white, yellow, and red. Um, to do a wireless, you're gonna need power. So I'm gonna actually steal these two extra wires I have coming up here, and that's gonna be my power that I use. <laughs> if you didn't have extra wires, you'd probably have to run a uh, cable. So in this case, it'd go through my basement, and you'd have to basically get a wire up here. Um, unfortunately, with wireless, you kinda of need an extra power cable. So, but I'm gonna show you my little trick on, even though I don't have power here now, how I'm gonna do it. So, you're gonna to wanna to go read the manual. I'm doing the radio thermostat model here, CT50. So now we're gonna take these off. Okay, so it's very important not to let these wires fall back into your wall because it's very difficult to get at that point. So what I'm gonna do is make these wires a bit bigger I'm gonna strip these wires and I'm gonna liven them all up downstairs. What I'm verifying now is we have no power on any of the lines. The voltage tester under AC 200, I'm looking for like 24 volts. There's nothing coming through. My wires in now, and you're gonna be basically putting red to either one of these, probably red H. And batteries in. I have not yet turned the unit on. Okay, and I'm going to go turn on the unit the power to the heating system and make sure it works. So it's turning the heat on, which is important. Now we're going to need to see if we have access to radio. And I'm going to program it on my phone, so it does both heating and, and cooling. Thermostat wire goes upstairs, so I'm tracing it back to here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here. I've already verified that it's turned off. There's no power going through it. Voltage tested it. I'm going to be cutting into here. Now I'm going to need a power cable for these two, and it should be good. Okay, connecting my blue and red together. And if you didn't have two extra wires, you would just run this cable up stairs uh, to the wall. Here we have a 24 volt AC. That's what we want. And we're going to get the two AC. Hot is what we're going to need. Okay, so red is blue. I'll turn you on. First we sign that we know is working. You have this yellow light blinking. That was not blinking before. So I got my hot, my ACU here, and just these are my three that I started with. First thing I'm going to test to make sure that it is actually turning the AC on. So we just turn this on and I can hear this fan is on. So it's heat is working. So that's step one. Step two is we're going to connect my thermostat to it. So that to do that, we're going to go back home, our menu. Mate, beautiful. So now to test it, it's right now it's off. 
Let's switch it to mode. End away, mode, put on heat. That's telling me right now what it is. Let's set the target for 60, 70. And as you can see, it just adjusted the target to 70. So now we have it set up, working with the phone. Uh, you know, without the wires there, I had to add those extra power wires. So hopefully you guys like the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you have time, please subscribe to my channel, click here to watch more videos, or please give me a thumbs up. Thanks.